Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. Today we're going to talk about the career of one of my favorite actresses, Jenny Allgutter. Specifically, we're going to talk about a movie she made when she was only 16 years old. It's a thriller from England called I Start Counting. Jenny Allgutter shows up in motion pictures fully formed. She's just a natural. No hint of artifice about her. None of those child actor mannerisms or fakery. She had no formal training as an actress. She was studying ballet and only looked initially at acting as a diversion. Maybe that's what made her so comfortable and real. The film industry instantly recognized how special she was. She's only 16 here, but has already worked with huge directors like Andre Vida and Robert Wise. Algutter carries this whole movie on her shoulders. There's not a scene she doesn't run. I Start Counting is an unusual film. This trailer really plays up the thriller angle. And yes, there's a serial killer plot, but the horror element doesn't really control the narrative. It's basically a coming of age story of a girl trying to figure out all her strange new urges. It's impeccably directed by David Green. He captures the tone shifts and mood swings. This would have been an easy movie to mess up. Green goes on to do lots of quality TV. His best known film is probably the misbegotten movie version of the musical Godspell. But even that film has the stunning Twin Towers dance sequence. I Start Counting also looks terrific thanks to the cinematography of Alex Thompson, who goes on to a major career working with the lights of John Borman, Ridley Scott, David Fincher, and Nicholas Rogue. Al Gutter, of course, goes on to work with Nicholas Rogue too, only a few years later on their masterpiece Walkabout. Some of her other great credits include Logan's Run, An American Werewolf in London, and Equus. I Start Counting is a fairly unknown film. It wasn't even released in the United States, but it somehow developed a cult following anyway. Finally, a few years back, a Blu-ray came out here on the smartly curated label Fun City. I recommend that you grab it.